guys and welcome back. So y'all have asked me for a hair tutorial, um, which I figured I will go ahead and do for you guys since I gotta do my hair for the hospital. <laughs> um, so I don't do a whole lot. I do color my hair and I did recently just go darker so it'll match my roots. Um, the shampoo and the conditioner I use this is the Herbal Essence brand. Um, I don't always stick to like the same bottles. This pink one specifically is called Color Me Happy, um, specifically for color, which is what I wanted at this moment. Um, but I change it up um, with different bottles. Um, when I'm all out. Um, so that's what I use for shampoo and conditioner. I like to just let my hair dry naturally. So I did brush it, um, let it dry naturally. This is my hair kind of natural. <laughs> um, if I blow dry my hair, it won't stay with my curls. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to curl my hair. Um, if I were to blow dry it, it's not going to hold at all. It's just going to flatten out and go straight. So, yeah. Um, I have my curling iron here that's already plugged in and on. This is a one, one-fourth inch round curling iron. Um, I don't necessarily like use it as curling iron. I use it more as a wand. So whether you have a wand or whatever, you'd be able to do these same curls. Brushes, I like to use a comb um, when I either straighten my hair or curl it. Um, and then my brush, this one's an old one. I actually have a new one. This one's just the Conair brand. But I do like the wet brushes. And that's what I have in my hospital bag. <laughs> I just figured I'd leave it in there. Um, but before I curl my hair or straighten it, I do like to apply some kind of heat protectant. Um, today I'm going to use the Pillow Proof Blow Dry from Redken. It's good if you're blow drying your hair. I'm not blow drying my hair, but I don't necessarily put the curling iron on my tips. So this gets the job done. I like this stuff. It's got a primer and heat protectant in it. So again, it's the Redken Pillow Proof. You're low. Let's focus. Here. <laughs> there we go. Let's get to it. Um, oh, here we go. I don't show anybody my natural hair for the most part, but here you guys go. <laughs> This isn't natural, I brushed it. It's still very, very little bit damp, but that's okay. If you guys see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking in my mirror and it's just better than looking this way. <laughs> so first off, what I like to do is brush out my hair and I split it in half. So. I'll just split it almost like you're doing pigtails. Split in half so that way half of it is out of my way. And this other side I will go ahead <coughs> and just, I like to just split parts. So all this hair up here, I kind of just twist it and clip it out of my Wait, so I'm not constantly moving it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my pillow proof spray and just lightly spray the ends. I rub it in with my hands. Smells so good. <sighs> you can see it gave it a little bit of shine down there. Mm. 
Okay. Mind you, I do use a lot of clips or hair ties. Um, Cause I hate it being in my way. I like to be able to see the full piece. So here, what I'll do is I'll take pick and just make sure that I've gotten out all the little tangles. My hair is curly, so getting tangles out is awesome. Now I'll take my curly iron. Again, you can do this with a wand. Um, you want to um, curl away. So I put it behind me and wrap it around just like you would a curling iron. I don't let my ends touch the curling iron. And I usually just Hold it for about 10 seconds or so. And let it drop and stay like that. I don't know where my clips went to. I do try to make sure that my hair is like flat against the iron, um, not all twisty. I don't really worry too much about the bottom of my hair just because it's underneath all of this crazy hair. So nobody's gonna really see it, um, but there you go. I let it just lay out so it'll just fall by itself, look more natural that way. Sometimes I'll just Now, I usually, I like tight curls. I like them tighter up here too, so I do go higher sometimes, but if you want your hair to look a little longer, instead of putting your curling iron or your iron like way up to your root, you can hold it down to like right about here, so that way it gives it that longer appealing look. Um, here's an example, especially because this one's by my ear. I like to not bring it like too close. So I will take it kind of like to the center point and hold it there. If you guys can see that too well um because my hair is like super dark but i do just let them lay out like that and again i just work section by section.
maybe get this angle a little bit better for you guys. Here's what the curls look like so far. And at the top, I just continue to bring them up a little bit higher. Okay, so now that I have made it to the front of my face, with these curls all looking like this, you can see I've pulled them up higher so there's like little wavy curls at the top of my hair. But this is where you like to part, and which by the way, you wanna part like before you curl your hair. <laughs> um, but I will take it from way at the top and again curl away from your face and hold for 10 seconds. And boom. Um, course with a wand, one fourth of an inch wand. You can pull like longer strands of hair, but that one was thin, which is fine. And then I just push it out of my way of right now, and I'm gonna finish this side, and then I'll tell y'all how I finish my hair. This last strand here that I made much bigger. Again, I'm going to wrap it away from my face and I am going to go up higher than I did on the other side um, and I just hold it for a few seconds and it's curled. It's a tight curl so now normally what I would do is let it let the heat from the side kind of just die down for a minute um and i don't run my fingers through it because i love the curls um so i just shake my hair which y'all will see in a minute Let those curls fluff down a little bit and part my hair whichever way I want it. Um, as of right now, this is the way I'm going to wear it. There we go. And boom. <laughs> um, this side, whichever way I part my hair, whether I put this side on this way or whatever, I always like, not for it to be like completely straight, but where like half of it's straight and then it just curls on out like that. Um, and then whichever side I don't have my part on, I like it to be curly curly. So I just shake my head a few times. You guys can run your fingers through it if you want it. Um, less tighter than this side or whatever, shake it again. <laughs> um, but personally, this is how I do my hair and this is how I like it to look on a good day. <laughs> um, there are days where I'll leave it a little bit more tighter, but I like, I like the beach kind of wavy look. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know that's what you call it, but yeah. So you can part it whichever way you want and whatnot, but it looks super pretty when you're done. Um, 
I don't put hairspray, I don't do anything to my hair. As long as I let it air dry and use a protectant, a heat protectant, my hair is perfectly fine. It'll stay like this for days. Um, I know you can do tighter curls and like clip them up, let the heat hold on to them a little bit more. Um, but I don't do that. I just let them fall into place. That's how I like them to look. Don't hairspray, don't do anything to it. If I hairspray my hair, it'll just, it'll just go flat. Um, so that's it, not a whole lot of product and natural looking BG hair. <laughs> um, that was it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.